What is up, beautiful people? It's me, Tara J, back again with another one. And today, I am giving you a mini or a semi or a flat out tutorial on how I did my Nautilus box sprays. This is my second time ever doing my box sprays, and I had them in for about maybe two days, maybe three days tops. And I just want to show you guys the backstory of how I did my box sprays. But before we get into that, I don't want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now, subscribe to my channel. Don't wait. And if you are new here, of course, as you can see, I'm Tara J. Nice to meet you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And my new subscribers, thanks so much for being loyal subscribers because I truly appreciate you. And thank you for clicking this video. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, before we get into the intro of how I did my knowledge base, I have to tell you the backstory of my hair product. I ordered this hair from Amazon, and I paid about $20 to $21. I'll have it up on the screen, of course, the exact hair that I got and how much it costs. So the backstory of that is that this is my second shipment of the hair because it's Christmas season and you got thieves running around just being thieves and guess what this same exact hair is like a dollar or two dollars from the beauty supply store but you know people don't care they lazy anything that comes to the house or anything that comes to an apartment building that's from Amazon they snatch it in because you got thieves out and about because it's holiday season so long story short I um found out that my package was stolen from Amazon and they, they literally opened my box like it was their box, left the box downstairs, open, but everything in it was gone. So I was, first of all, I was livid that that had happened, but um, because Amazon is so effing great, I was able to just contact Amazon, let them know like I didn't receive my package, it was stolen, blah, 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 I didn't receive the um, product inside of the box. And seconds later, they were just responding back. They're very responsive. And I was like, oh, they were just like, oh, okay, well, we'll just send you out another one. You should have it by Friday or it's one day shipping by the time when we shipped it. So I think that was Monday. They didn't ship it till like Wednesday and I got it on Thursday. So the same week that someone sold my hair, I got a new, I know I got a new package of hair. So that was like hella dope. I thought that was amazing. I keep telling you guys in my YouTube videos that Amazon Prime is the shit. And they will always be the shit to me because they never go wrong. So, only thing that goes wrong is when somebody crazy steals my package. But besides that, I never, Amazon has never did me wrong. They never not sent me something. They never not respond. They never not care. And in regards to this hair, this hair is cool. Uh, of course, it's synthetic braid hair. It does get tangled. I love the fact that they, um, sent me more than what I needed. As you can see, I, um, well, you don't see it yet, but you will see that I have eight, they sent me eight packs. I believe I only use like four and a half for my hair or maybe five and a half. Uh, I'm, I gotta look at it and see. I'll, um, write it in the, I'll write it in the, um, below how many I actually used. But yeah, I didn't even use all of that. So I got like a whole bunch of hair left to use left over. And I thought that was super dope. And then they sent me something saying that I was like chosen to try some other hair and stuff like that. So of course, like I said, Amazon is going to always give, give um, a 10 plus stars a rating from me. I think this hair is very nice. It's very doable for knotless braids. It was $20. Of course, you get eight packs. And boom, you know, it's like an overload of hair. So... And even if something goes wrong, Amazon is gonna come through and they're gonna resend it out to you. Like I like this happened, like this, just like this. So I can definitely give them a thumbs up. I'm happy that I ordered this specific hair from this company. It could have been a company, it may not have been Amazon, I don't know. But long story short, I got the hair and I was able to get the hairstyle done. It did take me four days because, <laughs> I said four days and I threw up three. <laughs> it did take me about four days because I was over after a while. I gotta, have, I gotta have a mirror sitting in front of me. I gotta have a mirror in the back of me. I gotta part my hair in the boxes, block shape and stuff like that. And it was blowing my mind. It takes like two, I'm not even gonna lie. It takes like two hours to do 
the back of your hair just parting it like the three layers in the back it takes about two hours to do that and after you done parting it and separating it and doing everything you need to do you done like you tired of doing the shit and you ready to do something else so that's what ended up happening with me my very first night i got the hair i parted the back of my hair the the three layers of hair i parted it and i did the i separated it so i had individual parts already ready to just get the hair and do it so the braid part is really not the hardest part i swear to you the parting of your hair trying to get back there and make perfect parts is the problem so day two i ended up doing my whole back of my hair and then i did like i started like some of the top and then day three i finished my whole top and then like this whole side and then day four <laughs> Day four, I finished this little sad over here because again, I was over it. Like my arms was hurting. Um, I was, I, I don't know. <laughs> it was just like, it just took way too long. But I'm I'm happy that I finally finished. I'm probably gonna keep this up till maybe mid-January, God willing. And um, yeah. So with that being said, I'm not gonna continue to talk your air off. Let's get into the video and you guys can see how I accomplished this look, okay? So guys, this is the hair that I ordered from Amazon. It is called Love Bite 24 inch pre-stretch braiding hair, eight packs of ombre T27 color expressions, braid hair extensions. It is synthetic fiber, crochet braids, yaki texture, and hot water setting. It comes with eight packs and they sing you a cute little crochet hook and some cute little hair clips that I thought was awesome. So before you get started with everything, hey guys, <laughs> I look crazy, I know. But before you get started with everything, you are gonna make sure your hair is parted to your best of, to the best of your ability. I know my parts may not look the greatest just because I am not a professional parter and I am doing my own hair. So yeah, what you need is go ahead and get one of the packs of hair that you have and open it up and start to stretching it out get some hair oils to keep your scalp oiled make sure you have the jam or gel of your choice i use sham jine just because that is the only gel that does not flake when i have braids after a while it doesn't lay my hair down like i would like it to but that's fine make sure you have a rat tooth comb for your parting and yeah we're gonna get started all right So before I do anything else, I do want to make sure my hair is fully oiled and just stays protected underneath this braid hair just because I don't want to take it down and have a lot of split ends or my hair begins to mat together. So I want to keep my hair moisturized and keep my hair oiled, which is something that I recommend to you. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I oil the length of it and oil my scalp at the same exact time. And you can easily just do that by running your fingers through your hair and then brushing it through your scalp just like that. And then, of course, you know you want to massage your scalp just to get the oils in there properly so they can get the work in. Working is magic on growing your hair longer. You know what I mean, girl. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and take some of the Shine Gel. Sham, I mean, I'm sorry, Shine Jam just to slick my hair down a little bit of course like i already stated it isn't gonna lay my hair like i would like it to lay it but it does the job just so we can clean it up a little bit of course your parts may not be the best so it's not gonna look perfect perfect but it just to also holds the hair together when you're braiding so you don't have any flyaways coming out of your braid So following that, I am going to separate my braid hair into different pieces just so I can prep it and not have to worry about it later. I am going to separate my hair into four pieces. When I say four pieces, I mean four pieces for one braid. They're going to be about that length. But my entire four pieces all together is going to be the length of how thick I want my braid to be. If you can see here, that is how thick I want my braid to be. And this piece here is what I'm going to separate into four pieces. 
I really hope this makes sense, guys. I am so sorry if I'm confusing you, but you can separate it into three pieces or four pieces. It really is does not matter because what you're going to do is build your braid up to the length you created. And if you want your braids to be as equal as possible, I do recommend you separate your braids to the length you want, to the thickness you want your braid to be, and then separate that and support the three parts, just as such. Now that we have separated our hair for our first braid, you again should have three or four pieces out of one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my hair into three pieces and start to braid. I'm not going to braid on the scalp. I'm just going to start braiding my hair like individual braids. Separate my hair into three pieces and just starting to French braid them. I'm probably going to French braid down maybe about two times. And then I'm going to grab one of my one of four or three pieces and add it to my hair. I'm going to make sure I put it on the outside pieces, which means my third piece in the middle should be only my hair. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep on braiding. If you can see, I have the outside pieces with the hair. And then my middle piece is just my hair for the third piece. With this, I'm going to go ahead and braid down about two more times, maybe three. Grab another piece of hair. At this time, I want to make sure my hair, that my piece of hair that does not have braid hair connected to it is on the outside. So I can add the braid hair to it. And then now each one of my three pieces has braid hair with it. And I'm going to go ahead and braid that down two or three times. At that time, you should feel your hair, the thickness of the braid growing. And I'm going to braid down two or three times again and i'm going to just keep on doing that until all my strips of hair has been used and my braid thickness is where i want it to be At this time, it looks like I have used the last bit of the hair that I separated for this one braid for its thickness. So I am going to go ahead and put some more jam on my fingers because by that time I should be pretty close to the end of my hair and I don't want any flyaways like I already stated. So I'm going to put gel on my hand as I continue to braid down and just keep on braiding and keep on braiding and add however much gel you need to make it more sleek and laid because again you do not want any dry flyaways from your hair to come out of the braid so here I am again just adding a little bit more braid hair to my finger and just continuing to braid down again guys the process isn't as hard as people make it look some people braid under some people braid over it really depends on you but I'm going to go ahead and finish braiding this one. And then I'm going to show you guys again one more time how to do knotless braids. So here I am again at the end of my braid. Just to clean it up, I will put a drop of nail glue at the tip just to make sure it is secure. It really is not necessary because I sort of ran out of nail glue towards the end of my braids. And my braids haven't come down. And if you want to cut the flyaways, you definitely sure can do that. It is your preference. I did my own hair, so I don't really care too much about the flyaways. It is what it is. You shouldn't be looking at my braids that hard anyway. But yeah, let's go ahead further to 
the next one again i'm going to separate my hair into th three pieces but before i do that i'm going to go ahead and oil my scalp oil the braid like i normally do make sure my hair is completely moisturized and completely oil oiled just just to protect my hair underneath the synthetic braid here i don't want any breakage or anything like that excuse me if i sound raspy my voice is going away for some reason I don't know why, but it's on and off all the time. But yeah, so let's go ahead and finish this. I Now that I am oiling my hair, the next thing I am going to do is go ahead and grab some, some of my shine jam. Again, I'm going to jam my hair up really good, but it looks like I'm separating my hair. So again, you want to separate the hair to the thickness of how you want, how thick you want your braid to be. This is how thick I want my braid to be. So what I'm going to do is separate this piece into four or three different pieces. That is the thickness of my braid. It will end up being thick, thick separated into three or four pieces. It really does not matter. And then after that, you're going to make sure it's separated so you can have enough time and enough space to grab it and go as you're braiding. You don't want the hair to tangle up or anything like that. Okay, so here I am finally putting the shine jam on my hair. Again, I did put more than enough, but my hair has some kind of texture, thickness to it that I just still have not found the perfect jam shine for it or edge control. So this will work best because I don't want it to flake while my hair, this is in my hair. And over time, if I use a different edge control, it will tend to flake. So... Hey, it has served this purpose. It lays my head edges down like I need them to for the moment. And yeah, that's that. <laughs> As you can see, I started separating my hair into three sections. Just like this, that's something that you should do. Start separating your hair into three sections and then start French braiding down as if you're doing individual braids. You don't have to braid it to your scalp, that's not necessary. After you braid down twice, you're going to go ahead and add one of your pieces of hair that you separated and you're going to add that in. Be sure to have your middle hair in the middle and the braid hair connected to the two strands on the outside. And then you're going to go ahead and continue braiding down. You're going to braid about two or three times. Maybe, yeah, just two or three times. And then add another piece of hair to it. Again, you want your inside piece that does not have hair connected to it to be on the outside of your hair. And then add another piece of braid hair to it. So now you're already at two pieces of hair down. And just continue to braid. Each one of your pieces of hair should have braid hair in it now and you're going to continue to braid down until you have about two or three wraps and then you're going to go ahead and add your third strand to it and after that you're going to add your fourth strand and then you're just going to go ahead and continue braiding down it again guys it is not hard it's not as hard as people make it look so just keep on practicing and if you don't get it the first time just keep on practicing again and I'm just going to go ahead and finish braiding my hair now really quickly and finish up. Remember guys, when you get to the end of where your hair is, be sure to add some more jam time to it because you don't want any flyaways. So add as much gel or jam you need to to make your hair sleek and lay down with the braid hair. As you can see, that's what I'm doing now. I'm continuing to add braid hair and jam at the same exact time so my hair can lay perfectly with it and I'm just going to keep braiding I'm going to switch my braids around switch my hands switch my fingers and keep on braiding down until I don't have any more braids left to go
now that I am at the end of my braid, I am going to, of course, add some nail glue to hold my braid together. Again, it is not necessary because your braid is not going to unravel. If you braid it tight enough, it's not going to come out of your hair. If you braid it tight enough, so you can or cannot add the nail glue to it. After that, you can go ahead and cut the flyaways to the braid hair. Once again, it's also optional because it's on your hair. I didn't cut mine at all. I want to let you guys know that this was um, a wonderful experience. And just to remember that these are the two fingers that you braid with. You braid with your middle finger and your pointer and your thumb. And the rest of the hair you hold with your ring finger and your pinky finger. That's how you braid. If that helps, I really hope it does. And thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. Peace. Alright guys, as you can see, that is how I did my knotless braids. I truly hope this video was very helpful for you because I do believe this is my second time ever attempting to do box braids on my own hair. One thing that I know that I struggle with is finding the right gel to make sure my hair is laid, lady. My hair is like 4Z and if you know 4Z ladies, if you're 4Z, you know what I mean? Like it's not too many gels that will lay your hair down it's not too not too much that will do it so it instantly become frizzy but i'm okay with that because i'm uh i'm not really big on laying my edges down i'm not really big on like slick laid unless i got a little slick back bun or something like that so i'm okay with how my hair looks i hope my tutorial helps you and i am happy it turned out like this and I actually, you know what, what I did not do yet, I still need to put my hair in some steaming, steaming, steaming hot water. But um, the basis of that is just boil some really hot water. That's self-explanatory. Don't burn yourself. Put your hair, the ends of your hair into some hot water and boom, you're all finished. So, of course, as you guys know it, I'm Tara J and I'm out. Peace.